I like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, or my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or my YouTube videos, whether you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. It doesn't matter whether you criticize me or give me compliments. It doesn't matter if you're dark-skinned or light-skinned. I greet all you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Today happened to be May uh, the 17th. 2020 time being about 3 52 uh, a.m. in the morning as you notice I'm focusing on one of my uh, security cameras my security cameras that I pay for my security cameras it's not that I'm afraid but I have elder neighbors who when shooting was going on on vine had nothing to do with the shooting, and their car got shot. I got my security camera because when they was doing shooting on Vine uh, and missing each other, my house got shot five times. That could have easily killed my 92-year-old daddy. That could have easily shot and killed my two young children. That could have easily shot and killed me and made my two young children be without a dad. My dad to be without a son that cares for him. But you need to see, some people don't care about that. Just like I don't care about what they say on my YouTube videos. I may respond back, but I continue to let them say what they want to say. And see, some people never experience racism. Uh, you can't, if you're black and you're being discriminated against white and you white, you don't know what it feels like. I don't care if you do say you do know what it feels like to be discriminated against. And if you, if, if you white and me being black, I can't tell you how you feel if black militants was discriminating against you or blacks was discriminating against you, period. You see, if you never experienced corruption, cover up and racism by some of the law enforcement officials, especially here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County, you wouldn't understand why I video. You see, one thing about me, my cameras, just like some of my neighbor's cameras on this street and other streets, they got cameras for a reason because some law enforcement officials don't do their job. You see, I got these cameras in case somebody come on my yard trying to attack me or my children and I end up taking their life. I'll have it on camera. You see, I had it on camera when the police claimed that they came, or the Charles, Missouri police came to my house when I was being attacked by a pit bull. And my camera showed the investigator and other law enforcement officials that didn't know Charles, Missouri police officer never re even respond to it. And I got the paperwork to show that the dispatcher said they sent a certain police officer but they tried to cover up for him and another police officer that just came on the force maybe a year or two uh, before before uh, this uh, after this happened uh, claim he came. And I told him to his face he a lie. I told the chief he was a lie. The chief said the dispatcher made a mistake. The dispatcher said she didn't make a mistake. She gave me a printout. The printout don't make mistakes. The voice of recording don't make no mistakes. I told the sheriff about uh, white children discriminating against my two little girls at their church. Him and his wife had invited them. 
I told the sheriff and showed him a video of two individuals on the corner of my house harassing me because I voted for him. I'm talking about the present sheriff. And then they got to using his name. That's when he got involved. Sent three black individuals, the, in, the president, NAACP president who's in their circle, and two other blacks to go tell these individuals to stop using his name. He didn't care about what they did to mine. When he came, the sheriff and his wife came uh, yesterday on May the 16th, 2016 to put a sign in the yard next door. I ain't got no problem with nobody putting no sign anywhere or voting for whoever they want to vote for. Because, see, once upon a time, blacks, we couldn't even vote. But we need to get out and vote now, but we need to pay attention. You see, when my daughters was walking past, they said that the sheriff spoke to him and his wife asked, told him that they miss him at church. You miss him at church? If you missed him at church, you would have came by here like you did last year when y'all wanted me to vote for him. But that was January of 2000. That was January uh, of 2020. Uh, I mean, 2019 for the special election. You didn't miss my children at the church. You know where we live at. What you miss is. A sign being in your yard. Ain't nobody else on Vine got your sign in the yard. But in, I don't have nothing against my neighbors. I don't have nothing against them having, they can have a Ku Klux Klan sign in the yard. I'm not saying they racist. But I don't care what they have in the yard. My plain focus was to show the present uh, Sheriff Brent Farrell. I know it ain't no coincidence. I don't care what nobody say. I'm, 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 I'm not dumb. I'm not stupid. That all the places that he put a sign is right next door, which he, that's his prerogative. Out of all the places in March that he would be across the street from my house asking my two little juvenile uh, daughters, am I speak, are your, is your poppy not speaking to me? Ask me. They're children's. It's no different than what a rapist did when they was walking past the hut a few months ago, asking them, where y'all going? They didn't say nothing. Where your daddy at? They didn't say nothing. Tell your daddy he got me kicked out of uh, my place. That was a rapist. But yet, they called me the rapist on Vine Street. I ain't never raped nobody. When you do find them, let me know. But these is my cameras, and I'm going to keep on videoing. Like I said, I hold my noise down if it's bothering anybody. But I done already talked to some of my neighbors, other neighbors, and I don't seem to be bothering none of them. But let me tell you this here. As long as I got the money uh, to put my cameras to pay for my cameras, I'm going to continue to pay for them, and I'm going to continue to use them. I don't care who don't like it. You see what I'm saying? I don't care who don't like it at all. Peace be still.